Sweden has reacted to the federal government's suspension of operations of the microblogging and social network service Twitter. Recall that the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, had announced the indefinite suspension in a statement on Friday by a spokesman, Shegun Adeyemi. Sweden's embassy in Nigeria, in a test post via its Twitter handle, noted Nigerians have the constitutional right to express their freedom of expression. Nigerians have a constitutional right to exercise their freedom of expression and a right to access of information. This must be respected, safeguarding free, independent media and civic space for democratic voices in an important part. Pardon is an important part of you know Sweden's. It further stated this constitutional right must be respected. Nigerians have a constitutional right to exercise their freedom of expression and a right to access of information. This must be respected. Safeguarding free, independent media and civic space of democratic voices is an important part of Sweden's drive for democracy, Twitter ban, Sweden stated. Also, the British Deputy High Commissioner to Nigeria, Gil Atkinson, says government must respect right to freedom of speech. But in a tweet, Atkinson said any measure taken by the government must be measured. All Nigerians have the right to freedom of speech and the responsibility not to misuse that right. Any action taken by the government must be measured, proportionate, and not suppress basic freedoms, she tweeted. All Nigerians have the right to freedom of speech and the responsibility not to misuse that right. Any action taken by government must be measured, proportionate, and not suppress basic freedoms. That is what Gil have said. Twitter's suspension by the federal government comes day after a post by President Muhammad Buhari on the 1967 civil war was deleted by the microblogging platform. In a series of posts on Twitter on Tuesday, the president had condemned the attack on government facilities in the country. Citing a reference to the civil war experienced, Buhari had threatened to treat those bent on destroying Nigeria through insurrection in a language they understand. And this has you know, brought so many you know, dissatisfaction among Nigerian citizens. Everybody is saying their own part of this story. People are reacting to this because this does not really meant well in most of the Nigerian citizens. These Nigerian citizens have said the president has spoken in a, you know, has spoken in foul languages. The tone he uses was too harsh on the citizens and it has prompted them to react to this that has been said. What do you think can be done in this kind of situation when you have the president Twitter handle and Facebook handle being, you know, banned of which has led to Sweden, you know, to react to the federal government suspension on the operation of the microblogging and social networking service Twitter. What is your say to this? What is your thought about what has been said? We would like you to drop your thoughts in reaction to this that has been said. So many countries have been talking about this present issue. They have, you know, realizes that Nigeria is in big problem and they are in deep shit. And there is nothing Nigeria can do about this because it is really getting out of hands. Nigeria needs help from other foreign countries to help, you know, Profile a lasting solution to this that has been said. If you could recall that the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, had announced the indefinite suspension in a statement on Friday by a spokesman, Shegun Adeyemi. Lai Mohammed, you know, announced this indefinite suspension in a statement on Friday, of which most people have reacted to and said this might not be the president who have written this, you know, this statement. It probably be Lai Mohammed who have written it. And also, some people have said it could be Gabashio, the presidential aides, who have written this because probably the president could not even handle an Android phone. What is your say to this? And some people have also reacted and said, even if the president could not, you know, handle an Android phone, probably there's no how, you know, anything will be posted on his behalf or anything be posted on his own Twitter handle, on his personal Twitter handle or Facebook handle without being read to him. So definitely, the president knows about what is going on because before anything being posted on his account, it will have been read to him, it will have been read to his hearing for him to give them the, you know, right and, you know, freedom to post it. And now this has been posted and it has stirred up the anger in, you know, Nigerian citizens by saying that this, you know, 
that the president have said is not right it shouldn't be said by a, a president of a state what is your say to this the you know, president of nigeria has uh, said something that has you know become another of the day in nigeria it has prompted so many reactions from people it has prompted so many reactions from other foreign countries to react to this present situation what do you think can be done concerning this present situation though we know that nigerians have a constitutional right to exercise their freedom of expression and rights to exercise you know to access of information pardon and this right must you know surely be respected and at the same time safeguarding free independent media and civil you know spaces for democratic voices is an important part of sweden's drive for democracy what is your thought about this i'd like you to drop your thoughts in reaction on what has been said I'd like to see your point of view about this don't forget that it further stated that this constitutional right must be respected every right of a con uh, no, of a citizens in a country must be respected Nigeria has a constitutional right to exercise their freedom of expression and a right to access of information of which this must be respected. And also, the British Deputy High Commissioner to Nigeria says government must respect rights to freedom of speech, that everybody has the right to speak his own his own mind out and you know nothing must you know stop them. They have the right to you know express their own you know speech, they have the right to freedom of speech. But in a tweet, she said that any measure taken by the government must be, you know, measured. If the government should take any step, it has to be measured. If they are taking any measure concerning any issue in Nigeria, it must be measured. All Nigerians have the right to free speech and the responsibility not to be misused. That's right. You know, any action taken by the, in, by the government must be measured, proportionate and not suppressed, you know, basic freedom. She tweeted, what is your thought about this? What is your own thought about what has been said? The government, you know, reaction or measure must be proportionate and not to surpass basic freedom. She, you know, she tweeted it on her own Twitter handle. What is your say to this? Things are really going on in Nigeria. We don't even know the right way to go about the present situation of Nigeria. We hope that God will please, in the, you know, vindicate Nigeria from this, you know, present situation. He will come and have his way concerning the present situation of Nigeria. This level of insecurity has turned Nigeria into something else. It has prompted our leader to start seeing what they ought not to be saying. It has even prompted the citizens to start to react on things they ought not to be, you know, reacting to. People don't even know the right way to go. People are just agitating for different things of which they thought would be, you know, the right way to go. They are trying to provide a lasting solution to this. What do you think can be done in this kind of situation? I would like you to drop your thoughts and comment on this. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.